Rahim Aslam. In this video, we will create a lab system and uh, we will uh, count the labs. So, I have created a point here for a lab system, and uh, I will just move this car near to this lab point. And uh, you can see that the car is here now. and uh, place it to road no problem okay so this point is created by the boxes it's very easy i have named it lab line and under lab line we have three boxes so uh, with this uh, in this way we have created this point okay these are three boxes don't have mesh or box collider i just have deleted that so that it is only the simple finish line and uh, now we'll see that uh, i think this uh, finish line should be a little bit uh, of any other point i think because the car uh, should have a little bit more yeah i think this point is good so let's add it here maybe and uh, let's add it here at this point no problem so car has a little bit more visibility for this point okay so let's add it here definitely both sides are uh, same but we can just rotate it to other side for a better view and uh, yeah i think uh, now this is good you can adjust it little bit and uh, definitely it has no colliders i just deleted all colliders from boxes so it don't have any collider at all so don't you worry about that and uh, just uh, adjust it a little bit and uh, yeah that's good so now this is this will be the point and uh, we want to uh, make it as a lap point okay and uh, before that we will just bring our car near to this point as well so I will just select the car bring it to this point okay so now we are ready to fetch out the lab text with our secrets so before that what we want to do is that uh, we want to create a lab uh, box so we should have a box uh, there for the lab system which should be trigger okay because we have to uh, code uh, our script with triggers so here at this point inside the lab we can just create a, another box let's create a box cube here and uh, you can see that uh, this cube is created one more cube is created here and uh, we will just uh, uh, rotate it to 90 degree okay so why okay sorry uh, zero. So why it's not 90 degree okay because it's box uh, so it is uh, uh, we are getting this uh, uh, problem because uh, it is inside the ground I think so anyhow we can manually rotate it for some reason that is not working and you can see that when we are rotating this thing it has a problem and that problem is uh, due to this lap line because 
the slab line is actually this uh, box okay so for the lap line uh, what we can do I will just uh, bring these box outside the lap line okay and uh, we will just uh, rename this as a box as well and here at this spot we will just create an empty object okay and this empty object will be lap line now we will not face the problem so now we will select all of these four boxes and we will just add it to lap line and then we will add the slab line to the track okay so now you can see that uh, we have lap line now we can add actually a uh, object cube and uh, now we will not have any problem with the cube and after adjusting the cube I think we can uh, sorry the position of the cube is far away so we we'll just uh, make it bigger and we will manually adjust this cube here and we will just uh, uh, make it bigger like this we'll rotate it little bit so that this cube will be uh, till these sides as well okay that's why I'm doing this and then we will just make it thin okay something like this and this much is okay and this cube has a box collider so we'll just click on trigger okay so we want to trigger this box collider so we have it should be trigger otherwise the script will not work and now we can adjust it according to our finish point so let's make it a little bit thin as well and rotate it to match the finish point so when our car will reach uh, or cross this uh, box we have to calculate the laps so now uh, we will also hide this lap uh, but uh, before that I will just rename it as a lap trigger okay and we will add this lap to lap line so that everything is uh, inside this lap line game object okay and now uh, we want one more thing that we should have a trigger on the car as well so if we select the car you will see that uh, this car has rigid body car controller but it don't have any collider okay and the other thing which we want is that the car should have tag to player okay although this car has some colliders and these colliders are available but these colliders don't have tag of player okay one thing that uh, you can do that you can make these colliders as a player if you want to do so this way will also work or you we can also create another collider on our car okay so we will do the second uh, one so we will select the car setting our option and we will select the add component and we will just search for box collider and we will just add the box collider so here uh, one more collider we have added but uh, this box collider we can just click here okay and you can see that this box collider lies here in the uh, middle of the car and uh, we can actually move this collider as well if we want to do so and we can make it bigger and anything we can do with this collider okay so anyhow this collider is added so we are happy with this and I will just uh, I will just uh, move this front of this collider to the front of the car like this okay so when car reach uh, the fr front uh, when front of the car will reach at that point uh, our car will get triggered okay so that's great so now we have created two scripts uh, one script actually for lap 
uh, which is a lab.cs okay but before understanding that we can just uh, uh, go to save script and in save script we have created a public static int lap number and then we have st uh, created public static bool lap change false okay so we have created a bool variable and int variable for lap numbering so then after that we will just go to ui script and inside ui script we have created a uh, text field with a total lapse text and also with a lap number text okay and after that we also have created one more variable which is public int total lapse which are equal to three so initialize we have initialized the total lapse with three okay and uh, here in star function we have said that lap number text will be zero initially and lap total text uh, will be equal to total laps okay uh, and before that we have placed the bracket this slash okay and then inside the update function uh, this is the ui script in update function we have added lab, lab number text dot text is equal to save script dot lab number dot to string so our lab number will be pasted to our ui with this text so this is the script for ui so we have to make uh, addition and save script then ui script and finally we have created one more script with the name of lap okay and in this script we are just adding a function of public wide on trigger enter and we are saying that if our object has a tag of player okay then the lap number will be plus plus this plus plus means that once uh, every time the lap number will be increases by one okay this plus plus is equal to plus one so you can add plus plus or plus one it's up to you so we can save this secret and now we will just move back to our unity we will select this uh, box which is actually the lap trigger and we will add our script which is lab script we have created and this script is also created in the same folder where we have vehicles car and scripts okay so this is created here so now this box has lab script and now we will just uh, hide this mesh renderer so now it will not be visible so if you play the game now we will see that uh, okay we have uh, one mistake that we didn't have added the text to the right uh, position so we will select the uh, we will select the uh, ui canvas and here you can see uh, two more fields one is lap number text and we will just go to extend our ui and uh, top panel and we have uh, values and we have uh, uh what is this lap number text we will add current lap here and total lap text we will add total laps here okay that's great now we will just play the game and hopefully everything will work fine let's see so yeah you can see three laps are here and uh, when we will just uh, and you can see one more problem that uh, the car is not moving and that is because we have added a uh, collider on the car and that collider is not triggered okay so if you will add any collider on the car it should be triggered okay otherwise it will not move the car will not move otherwise if it is colliding with the surface so now you can see that our car is fine and uh, for some reason the camera yeah now the camera is fine so now when we re, uh, cross this you can see our lap increased but uh, one mistake is there that if we return back and if we cross lap again it will count the another lap as well okay because uh, we didn't have added the wrong position system so in a later vid uh, videos we will definitely add the add position system as well so 
that's great for this video we have successfully added the lab system and next video will move further allah hafiz